In this video, I'm going to do an example where we calculate the molar solubility of a salt uh, given just the KSP value for that salt. And I'm going to demonstrate two methods that can be used to solve these types of problems. So, uh, the first example, we have silver iodide solid um, with a KSP value of 1.5 times 10 to the negative 16. And um, if, if, if that silver iodide solid is placed in water, in pure water, we know that we know that we'll get this equilibrium. The silver iodide solid will be in equilibrium with silver ions and iodide ions. And the equilibrium expression uh, says that the KSP value is equal to, to the product of the silver ions and iodide ions. So, um, in the first method, um, I'll solve this problem using an ice table. So, so we know that um, when we do our ice table, the, the silver iodide solid is not going to um, be significant. And, of course, when we place the silver iodide solid in water initially, we're going to have zero concentration of both of the aqueous ions. And we'll have a change in concentration equal to plus x for each of the aqueous ions. And at equilibrium, we'll have a concentration of x for both of the ions. Now from our above equilibrium expression, um, we can substitute these values of x into that expression for each of the ions. So what we'll get is Ksp will be equal to x squared or 1.5 times 10 to the negative 16 is equal to x squared. And we solve that and get that x is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the negative 8 moles per liter. So at equilibrium, the concentration of the silver ion the silver ion and iodide ion will be equal to 1.2 times 10 to the negative 8 moles per liter. Now we can, um, as I said, we can do we can solve this using another method. This method, um, of course, will produce the same answer. The only difference is that it involves a little more algebra. Um, and basically. Uh, we can solve this just by looking at the ratio of the ions. We know that at equilibrium, the concentration of the silver ions will be equal to the concentration of the iodide ions. And therefore, we can say that the KSP will be equal to silver ions multiplied again by the concentration of the silver ions because the concentration of the silver ions is the same as the iodide ions and therefore the KSP is just equal to the concentration of the silver ions squared And if you solve for this, what you'll get is that concentration of silver ions is equal to the square root of 
the KSP value. Which, of course, gives us the same answer as we determined on uh, using the other method. Okay, so let's look at another example. So we have zinc hydroxide at 25 degrees Celsius with a KSP value of 4.5 times 10 to the negative 17. And again, we're going to calculate the molar solubility of this salt. So this will be our, our equilibrium uh, equation. And for this equilibrium, the, KS, uh, the equilibrium expression will be equal to the concentration of the zinc ions times the concentration of the hydroxide ions squared. Um, now, using, uh, we'll use a, another ice table to solve this problem. So, initially, once this zinc hydroxide is placed in solution, initially we'll have concentration of zero for each of the two ions. And we'll have a change of plus x for the zinc ions and a change of plus 2x for the hydroxide ions. So that at equilibrium, we have a concentration of x for the zinc ions and a concentration of 2x for the hydroxide ions. And substituting these equilibrium concentrations into our KSP value, um, we'll see that that will be equal to 4.5 times 10 to the negative 17, which is our KSP value, being equal to x, the concentration of the zinc ions, multiplied by 2x squared. Remember the coefficient in front of the uh, hydroxide ions uh, becomes the exponent in the equilibrium expression. And we would simplify that um, to get 4x, squ 4x cubed on the right side. And after doing some, some algebra, we'll see that x is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the negative 17 divided by 4 all and we take the cube root of all of that and eventually if we s put that in our calculator we see that x is equal to 2.3 times 10 to the negative 6 moles per liter, which is the molar solubility of zinc hydroxide.